One of the most distinctive features of spiders is their ability to produce silk, which they use to build webs and other structures. Spider silk is a remarkable material, stronger than steel and more elastic than nylon. Spiders can produce several types of silk, each with different properties and uses. Spider webs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from simple flat sheets to complex three-dimensional structures. The most common type of web is the orb web, a circular web with radiating threads and a sticky spiral in the center. Orb webs are used by many species of spiders to catch flying insects. Other types of webs include funnel webs, which are used by ground-dwelling spiders to trap prey that walks into the funnel, and sheet webs, which are flat sheets of silk used by spiders that hunt on the ground. Some spiders don't use webs at all and instead hunt by actively chasing their prey. Spider life cycle consists of several stages, including egg, spiderling, juvenile, and adult. The length of each stage can vary depending on the species of spider and environmental factors such as temperature and food availability. Egg stage female spiders lay their eggs in a sack or cocoon made of silk, which they then protect until the eggs hatch. The number of eggs in each sack can range from just a few to several hundred, depending on the species. Spiderling stage Once the eggs hatch, spiderlings emerge from the sack. Spiderlings are tiny and usually have six or eight legs, depending on the species. They are vulnerable at this stage and must quickly find food and shelter to survive. Spiderlings are often cannibalistic, meaning they may eat their siblings or other spiderlings to ensure their own survival. Juvenile stage as spiderlings grow, they undergo several molts, shedding their exoskeleton and growing a new one. Each time a spider molts, it becomes larger and more developed, eventually reaching the juvenile stage. Juvenile spiders look similar to adults but are not yet sexually mature adult stage Once a spider reaches adulthood, it can reproduce and continue the life cycle. The length of the adult stage can vary depending on the species, with some spiders living for only a few months while others can live for several years. Female spiders generally live longer than males because they invest more energy in producing offspring. During the adult stage, spiders continue to hunt for food and may mate multiple times. Males often die shortly after mating, while females may continue to produce offspring for several months or even years. In some species of spiders, males perform elaborate courtship rituals to attract females. These rituals can involve dancing, drumming, or presenting the female with a gift of food or silk. Overall, the spider life cycle is a complex and fascinating process that involves multiple stages and environmental factors. As spiders continue to play an important role in ecosystems and as sources of new medicines and technologies, scientists will undoubtedly continue to study their life cycle and behavior to learn more about these amazing creatures. Spiders play an important role in ecosystems and the natural world. They are one of the most diverse and abundant groups of predators, and they are found in almost every habitat on Earth, from deserts to rainforests. One of the primary roles of spiders in nature is as predators. They feed on a wide variety of insects, other arthropods, and even small vertebrates like lizards and frogs. In fact, spiders are estimated to consume hundreds of millions of tons of prey each year, making them an important factor in regulating insect populations. By controlling insect populations, spiders indirectly affect other aspects of the ecosystem. For example, if a particular species of insect were to become too abundant, it could have negative effects on plants, other animals, and even human health. Spiders help to prevent this by keeping insect populations in check. Spiders are also an important food source for other animals, including birds, reptiles, and mammals. Some species of spiders have evolved to be especially difficult for predators to catch, 
using camouflage, venom, or other defensive strategies to avoid being eaten. The silk produced by spiders is another important contribution to the natural world. Spider silk is incredibly strong and lightweight, making it an ideal material for constructing webs and other structures. These structures not only help spiders catch prey, but they also provide shelter and protection for other animals, such as small insects and mites. In addition to their ecological roles, spiders are also an important subject of scientific research. Scientists are studying spider venom to develop new treatments for a variety of medical conditions, including pain, stroke, and cancer. Spider silk is also being studied for its potential use in a wide range of applications, from bulletproof vests to medical implants. Despite their important contributions to the natural world, spiders are often misunderstood and feared by humans. Many people have an irrational fear of spiders, which can lead to unnecessary killing or destruction of spider habitats. It is important to educate people about the important role spiders play in ecosystems and to encourage conservation efforts that protect these important creatures. Spiders play an essential role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems in the natural world. They are important predators, food sources, and contributors to scientific research, and they provide important benefits to humans and the environment. By understanding and appreciating the role of spiders in nature, we can work towards a more sustainable and harmonious relationship with these fascinating creatures.